Welcome to my channel. I want to talk to you about shiny skin. Whether you're outdoors or indoors, sometimes this affects your photography because the person you're taking photographs of either has shiny skin or it just comes from lighting or not putting enough makeup on the person you're photographing. Sometimes when you're photographing people, you don't realize that they have shiny skin or hot spots. You usually don't find this out until you had time to review your photographs. In this video, I will show you how to fix that shiny skin in Adobe Lightroom like the professionals. My name is Vaughn. I photograph people at events and most of the time their skin is fine. But sometimes when they've just come in from outside and it's a little hot with the flash, the flash creates a hot spot on their skin and I usually have to fix it in post. Some skin types have more oils than others. And so this is a natural thing. You can usually fix this by readjusting the makeup with a makeup artist or just doing a quick fix with the flash let's start with the fix you can see in this photo she has shiny skin as you can see right here you can see her pores we're gonna fix that see how it's shiny on the nose and usually that's because uh, she didn't put on the right makeup or her skin became a little oily under the lights what you do is if you have a mouse that has a scroll bar in the middle you're just going to scroll it to make it wider, make the circle wider, or you can do it on the size in Adobe Lightroom. You can use the slider. All right, right now it's feathered at zero. So let me increase that a little bit. Let's edit this headshot in Lightroom. Pick my healing brush and I'm going to do 100%. As you notice, the skin is oily in this spot and also uh, she has a little texture from where she didn't apply enough makeup to her skin and so you can see her pores but we're going to fix that today so what I'm going to do with the healing brush is I'm going to change the size of the brush you can change it with the slider here or you can change it with the scroll wheel on your mouse if you have one and so right now the feathering is set at 50% and the occupancy is set at 87% so let's see how that works so let me see if I can cover this. Okay. The spot it chose is way down there. It chose that spot. I want to choose something a little closer. Let's see what that looks like. That looks better. Okay. Choose that. I'm going to, I'll hit enter to select it. Let's see how that looks. Next, what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll use a adjustment brush and I have a special setup called soften skin light. I'm going to adjust that and then I'm just going to go in and try to bl blend it in, see if that blends in. No, I don't like that. So we can always delete that, delete that. And let's go back to the brush and we can delete the brush again and try again. This time I'll do it a little bit at a time. Let's try this spot right here. That looks good. How about this spot right here? It looks better. And we're going to hit enter to select it. Okay, that looks better. Now we can go back in and we can choose this spot right here. And that looks good. Okay, now we're gonna hit enter, select it all. And then what I normally do is I use the uh, adjustment brush and then I use a uh, setup called Soften Skin. And I've had my own adjustment brush called Soften Skin Light. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and smooth it out, smooth that skin. See how it's clearing up those pores? See how it's blending that? You want to have a little sheen, but you just don't want a lot of shine. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Hit enter to select the entry we made. That looks good. So let's fix the nose. See that extra shine on the nose? Let's go back into the heel brush and select it. Enlarge it a little bit with the scroll wheel. Shows that. Let's see what that looks like. I like that. So I selected that. So let's do the other side. So as you noticed, I'm doing it in small portions. That way we have more options. When you try to do it all at once, uh, Lightroom might not have a spot on the face that matches what you need. So you usually, if you do small spots, then it will usually find a good match. So it found that. And let's do the nose a little bit. Let's see if we can get that nose. 
do a little small one right here and pick the good spot and we're good so next i'm going to smooth over it with the soften skin adjustment again with my own adjustment brush soften it and so you can move these sliders to exposure you can move it around to get what you need to match what you need so that's about where i want that and so uh, to soften the pores in her skin i'm just going to use my brush tool and soften it so i wanted it a little lighter so let's choose a slider and i made it a little brighter so i'm just going to go through and i'm gonna adjust the pores in her skin let's do it at fit so i'm just going to go in with my brush i'm going to hit enter select all those brushes see how much better that looks already see how her skin looks that much better already you can do the same thing with the adjustment tool this is the plus we're going to fix her teeth with another brush that is a good thing about uh, adobe lightroom you can go in and alter everything with brushes so let's whiten our teeth this is a plus and when you're doing uh, adjusting photos this is a added bonus for photos your clients will like this that you help them look that much better they will appreciate that whenever you're handing someone a photo you want them to look their best in a photo that will get you more clients but at the same time you need to make sure that if you're uh, spending extra time on a photo that you're getting the best photo you can get okay So let's go to the before and after. So if you see the before and now the after, big difference. We dulled that shine. So let's hit enter to enter all our photos. Let's scroll down. Let's soften that a little bit more. And the easiest way that I found to do this is if you do one layer and then you enter again and then you go back to the brush and then you do soften skin again it'll add another layer so you're basically just adding layers on top of layers like you would do in photoshop see how that smoothed out our skin see the big difference now this photo is great i can take this further but in this video we're just fixing shiny skin today i just gave you bonuses that is the basics of fixing shiny skin in post thank you for watching and please subscribe.